Alright guys, so I'm uh review the Percy Jackson series on Disney Plus. It had just um ended tonight and the thing I want to talk about first is the constant exposition dumping on this show is very annoying and it's like kind of just boring. Like they have the budget on the show to just show us instead of just being like this happened, this is and like the mom just I think just it starts explaining everything, like, then when this show starts, it starts just explaining everything, and, like, when we were just found out throughout the show, anyway, and the acting in this show is very stiff, it, I mean, yeah, they're child actors, but, like, it's just still really stiff, even, I would say, the mom is worse than all of them, though, she was, I don't know why they cast her, she was awful, like, her performance was so bad sometimes, it took me out of the show. It, like, distracted me. And the casting in this show could have been better. Like, nobody looks anything like their book counterparts, really. And the things I do like about the show is, like, it is a little, quite a bit more accurate than the movies. And the relationship between the main, tri the trio and... Um, Percy, Grover, and Annabeth is great. I like it. And... No. The, another thing, too, is, like, that... I wish they would have shown in this, in the show, is, like, um... Is... And, I, and this change I didn't like is, um... When they find out who's Percy's, who Percy's dad is, they... Like, in the books, they're supposed to be, like, horrified. They're not... They're supposed to be horrified. There's supposed to be huge thunderstorms all over the place. And... And everyone's kind of just supposed to not be scared of. I think a little bit be scared, but kind of avoid him and not go near him. It's supposed to be this huge thing that's... And instead, Annabeth is just like, Wow, your dad's calling. And it's just smiling. It's like, What? And there's no hellhound in that scene in the show for whatever reason. And another thing too is Gabe is in this show is pretty tolerable. And Sally is able to just get him to back down really. And he's just too tame in this. Like he's supposed to be kind of borderline abusive in the books. He's just kind of a little bit of a jerk in this. Same thing with Mr. D is kind of just like... He's not anywhere near as a, of a jerk as he was in the books in this, because it's Disney, I guess. And then just Percy, just abs just knowing everything in this, is like, sure, his mom told him the stories and stuff, but he's just like, oh, Kronos, this. And he's just immediately able to, like, piece everything together, pretty much. And he just knows about everything. It's just kind of like, dude, he's 12 years old. Like, he would not be able to just know all of this. He's off the bat. And then Annabeth... It's just kind of, yeah, she's wise and can be hard and tough and everything. But just my interpretation of her, just, she just comes across like smug, super smug and um, just kind of angry in this. And it just kind of, that's just my interpretation. I just don't like it. And I'm just looking at my notes. Uh... And uh, another thing, too, is the author of the books, Rick Riordan, he's... I actually kind of lose respect for him a little bit because he's just super unprofessional. Un unprofessional, And we know that he hates those movies, but... But he's getting to the point where he's just publicly, openly just shitting on these movies. And, like, it's pretty pr shitty to just to... Um, shit on other people's work like that. Like, I know the books are his work and everything, and he created it. But, like, the people worked on those movies, that team's work on those movies, it's just pretty sh unprofessional just to talk shit about things in general in the public. And, seeing that there's nothing to take from those movies, no anything, it's just kind of like, there's always something to take from things. Like, just, sh and he's never even seen the movies. He just read one script and says, Oh, they aged up these characters, which made sense because it's better to have people eight that are can act very well that are a little bit older than child actors who have to grow into their roles and actually be able to act from however many seasons that takes. And 
And then, like, the whole thing with the, um, with the casino thing where he comes out and says, that talks shit about the movies, like, there's really no poker face thing. And I'm like, that's one of the few things that you, like, the people who hate the movies, a lot of them agree that's pretty iconic scene with the poker face thing. And it's more, in this, it was just kind of just boring that, in the casino scene, and this was just kind of boring. And also the action scenes are severely toned down and shortened, which I don't like. And even like the final fight scene with Air with um Ares is just kinda of shortened a little bit. I mean it's not shortened, that's pretty much how it happens in the books, but it's just kinda of like it it's just missing something. I think this series is just missing something and so far. But I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's just kind of okay. Like, I, I don't know. It's like, I'll, I'll give it like a three stars. It's whatever. It's like, it's whatever. I'm not a huge fan of it. But, alright, that's going to be my review. And, alright.